Did you know the pug is one of the oldest dog breeds? It has flourished since before 400 BC. Josephine Bonaparte and Marie Antoinette both owned and loved pugs before marrying their famous husbands. Yes, the pug has been the companion du jour for centuries, from Buddhist monks and Chinese emperors to French revolutionaries and English royalty. And surprisingly, this pup often has to have cesarean sections to give birth. <laughs> Considering how long this pup has been around, that's a lot of C-sections. But no wonder people adore these little tanks. These dogs can hang. One thing that's really nice about pugs is that they're energetic, happy, they like attention, and they're pretty laid back. The pug is a perfect companion for just about anyone. Come here, you. Originally dating back to the early Chinese dynasties, pugs were bred to be little companions for the emperors. These dogs were actually originally bred to be temple guards, and they were much larger in size when they started out. And as the trade winds blew through the Orient and back to Europe, the Dutch couldn't resist the funny-looking pup. And the pug was introduced to Europe. <laughs> and funny-looking they are. They've got this really short, flat face and these great big bulgy eyes and all these wrinkles around their face. They're very humorous. They look like little cartoons. With their comical look and neck brace for a body, Say hi. pugs have waddled their way into one of the most popular dogs in the United States. These four-legged little weightlifters usually come in black, fawn, apricot fawn, and silver fawn. While their trademark smushed-in face is awfully cute, it too comes at a cost. Pugs are brachycephalic dogs, meaning dogs with short noses. Because of this flat face, they often have elongated palates, which means they have some breathing problems. They tend to have trouble breathing in warmer weather, and they can actually require surgery. However, the upside to this smooshed-in flat face is adorable face wrinkles. Yes, pugs were bred to have all this extra skin on the face, folding into wrinkle upon wrinkle. What some may call ugly, others call irresistibly cute. Centuries ago in China, these wrinkles were bred to create a pattern on their forehead, a pattern that looks like the Chinese character for Prince. The tail on the pug gives away its toy dog classification. It whimsically curls up towards the back like a little corkscrew. The perfect tail is said to have two full curls. Unavoidable, the eyes will pop right out at you. Pugs have these bulgy, big round eyes that you can't ignore. One of the reasons pugs are so loved by so many different types of people is because they are just so easy to hang with. If you're the kind of person that's gonna sit at home and watch TV and eat chips, your dog's gonna be the same way. If you're outgoing and athletic and you love to be outdoors, take your dog with you. They'll learn to love that kind of lifestyle. And in one very cool circumstance, the bond between owner and dog has carried one very gutsy pug all the way to Hawaii. Quite simply put, he's man's best friend. Actually, he's my best friend. Best friend for sure. And like all best friends, they're attached at the hip. Good boy. David adopted Bugsy when he lived in New York. He knew he wanted a pug and couldn't resist Bugsy's cute little face. Unfortunately, shortly after David brought Bugsy home, the dog became critically ill with kennel cough and pneumonia. But luckily for Bugsy, David was a med student, and he knew his way around in ICU. Got a couple of interns, and we built an intensive care unit in my apartment, and for the next two weeks, we brought him back to life. And now David strives to give Bugsy a life of paradise and adventure in Hawaii. I think it was that experience between life and death, bringing him back. It developed that unconditional trust that no matter what I do in my life, this dog will trust me knowing that I'm looking out for him. And he better trust him because David, with Bugsy in tow, pushes the limits. Let's take these. We're going to kick some booty. These are your kicking shoes. You ready to go skydiving? What? You go yep, you heard it. You ready to go skydiving? Skydiving. Long time no see. Yeah, what's All up, right. man? Aloha. Hey, what's up, Bugsy? So how many jumps is it for Bugsy now? This is his third. 
A skydiving dog? That's right. Bugsy is an old hand at jumping out of planes, and he loves it. As usual, safety is the most important thing. David holds Bugsy tight to his chest as he's wrapped inside of David's jumpsuit. I'll keep my hands around him at all times. As soon as they're bundled in, there's no stopping this force of energy. Let's go fly. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, let's do it. Ah! All right. Now to drop his head with good luck. Back safe on the ground, and Bugsy loves it. I think I know what a dog feels like now when they put their head out of a moving car at 60 miles an hour. And while every day is not a skydiving day, it's always an adventure, one that David and Bugsy experience together. Bugs, you're the best. While pugs are easy companions, you have to be careful of the weather. It doesn't have to be melting heat out to make this little guy uncomfortable. You have to be extra cautious about making sure that this dog doesn't overheat. Grooming the pug is fairly minimal, however they do shed. Also, airtight wrinkles lead to airtight infections. Lots of moisture gets in there, bacteria grows, so part of the regular grooming procedure is keeping the pug's face very, very clean. While pugs are pretty healthy pooches if you keep them bathed and clean, the big thing to watch out for... Sometimes their eyes can pop out. Yep, you heard that right. It's called a proptosis. It needs to be put in right away. Proptosis occurs when there is forward displacement of the eye. This can be caused by accidentally holding the neck too tight or by tugging on a choke collar too hard. So be careful with your little pug. Training with pugs is a true walk in the park. Almost a perfect family dog. Pugs are one of those rare dogs that I think do well with almost any family unit. So pugs are durable little dogs. Keep them cool and be sure not to squeeze too hard when petting. They need careful cleaning of their face wrinkles. Train them early to follow commands and kids and adults will all find the pug a great friend. More to come on Dogs 101. In Japan, they don't say it with flowers, they say it with a statue of this breed. This dog may be the best apartment pooch. And this was the favorite dog of the richest women in the world.